So, dear children, welcome to this EduSet English Teleteaching Program. Uh, children, you know that a lot of people die in road accidents every day. The world statistics says every day about 3700 people are killed in the world. And in India, every year, the statistic says every year in India more than 1 lakh and 50,000 people die in road accidents. And if we come to Odisha, then you will be surprised to know that in Odisha also every year more than 5,000 people die in road accidents due to road traffic injuries. So, the statistics says in the whole world in every 23 seconds a man dies due to road accident. That is why to check this road accidents, to reduce this the number of deaths, to reduce the number of injuries, many organizations, different governments, the governments of our central, uh, our central government, the government of our state and the media people, the writers, the poets, they take steps, they through their writings, through their advertisements, through their news, they make people aware of the safety on road and the road safety rules. That is why today we are going to read a very good poem, a heart touching poem, a heart breaking poem. The title of the poem is from the formalin jar and in this poem you can find a very precarious, a very cruel accident I can say, a very precarious accident in which due to want of a helmet a young college going young lad, college going young man he died in the accident only due to his simple carelessness. So, today we will read the poem from the formalin jar. So, you see the title, the title itself says from the formalin jar and if you look at the pictures you can find the brains, one brain has been kept in one formalin jar. So, formalin is one type of chemical substance you know, in science you have read and to put it uh, to safe, uh, to preserve it uh, safely, they put the brains in the formalin jars. So, from the formalin jar means who is there, what is doing, what is saying and what is that to know a lot of things. And by way of reading this poem, by reading this poem we can also know the causes of road accident as the World Health Organization you know that they have identified five major causes for this road accidents. And this poet, a, uh, a professor in the Medical Research Institute of Bangalore, he has written this poem from the formalin jar. And as you know the World Health, uh, Health Organization, they have identified that five major causes. One co cause is due to helmet, we do not put on the helmets, we are very careless for this. Then due to our eye power sometimes uh, due to invisibility and due to lack of seat belt at the time of driving cars or driving any vehicle. So, helmet then invisibility then your another cause is seat, seat belt, another cause is using uh, alcohol and speed driving these are major five causes. So, let us see in this poem how a lady poet who is working at present as an assistant professor in the medical institute, we will know about that uh, lady and she has tried to make the young people aware of the road safety rules and how we can uh, live happily, how we will be safe on road. So, let us go to know something about the poet. The title of the poem is from the formalin jar and let us know who is the poet and where is she, who is she from and why he, she has written this poem. 
So, uh, I would like to request all of you to have a look at the screen. The title of the poem as I have already told you from the formalin jar and about the poet. The poet is Dr. Rita S. Mani and she is from Bengaluru. Professionally, she is a doctor, a scientist, neurobiologist at National Institute of Mental Health and Neurosciences and uh, popularly known as Nimanch, right? This is her profession. So, as a scientist, as a doctor, the poet Dr. Rita Mani, she has tried a lot to motivate the young people through this poem, right? To make the young people aware of the road safety rule to and how we can drive safely, how we can ride our motorcycles safely, how we can work on road safely and we will be safe. So, her writings, she has written many short stories, many poems, essays, travelogues about uh, traveling and some short stories, very short stories for children. So, present poem that is written in the month of September in the year 2013 to create awareness about safe driving and road safety rules. Again I repeat this present poem, the poet, the doctor, the professor Dr. Rita S. Mani, she has written in September 2013 means only 7 years back, 7 years before she has written this, she wrote this uh, poem actually. And, uh, to create awareness about safe driving and road safety rules. And if you know the background of this poem, you will be surprised why the poet, the doctor wrote this poem. Let us know why she wrote this poem, what made the poet, what made that doctor to write this poem, right. So, about the poem, you just see, I have given one paragraph. National Institute of Mental and health or sciences has a unique human brain museum where many brain specimens affected by various disease conditions like infection, tumor, stroke, injury and neurological disorders are preserved in formalin and displayed in Sritho charge. One of the brain specimens is from an unfortunate accident victim who died from head injuries. Perhaps he would not have lost his life if he had put on a helmet while driving his two wheeler. This heartbreaking poem conveys how a simple carelessness cost a young, lively and caring boy his precious life. So, my dear children, actually once a college going young boy met with an accident, when he was riding his motorcycle to his friend his motorcycle slipped and met with an accident and he was killed in that accident. When he was brought to the hospital, that uh, mental hospital uh, to for treatment, his parents they brought the young man to that hospital. What happened? The doctor actually found the young man dead and his brain was preserved by the permission of the parents and his parents, he was the only son of the family, his parents they suffered a lot, they cried a lot, but what happened due to a simple carelessness only because of the helmet, he did not put on his helmet, that is why he actually died in that accident. So, let us go to the poem, let us read the poem, right. So, from the formalin chart. So, this is the mental, actually National Institute of Mental Health and Neurosciences brain museum, right. In this brain museum, a lot of brains are preserved for story purposes and also for display. People they come and they watch these uh, uh, brains in that museum. You can see how the brains are preserved. You see some children they are also interacting with the professor, one of the professors he is uh, giving the ideas about the brains, the brains have been kept preserved in that museum, that is a nice, that is an excellent museum, fantastic type of museum, right. And in that museum, this brain 
of that young man who was a college going young man has been kept and basing on that brain, basing on that break, heart breaking incident, the situation of the family, the doctor, the professor has written this poem, right. So, I am going to read out the poem, you listen to me first, then we will discuss. So, let us read out the poem completely twice, first time you listen to me, again I will read out the poem for the second time you will listen to me. The title of the poem is from the formalin chair, once again from the formalin chair. Hi, I am Vicky's brilliant friend sitting in a formalin jar with disdain on display to promote knowledge gain, watching people stare at me again again. How insulting to be called a specimen, two years ago I was part of a living human. I got no struck tumor or box within at end date of in this jar to my chagrin. Vicky was a young boy smart and sane, full of life and vigor, sun, wind or rain. Computers and maths were his domain, his motto in life was no pain, no gain. Vicky's love for his parents was truly insane and he adored his grandma wrinkles and cane in college when he stole a glance at the rain, why his heart went third third only I could ex explain. On a wet monsoon day for task mundane, Vicky rode his bike to his friend in the next lane. For once from wearing his helmet, he did refrain, God, he met with an accident, gory and inhumane. All it took was a stray moment in name, a young life lost, a family crashed with pain. Dear friends, take care, risk driving can be vain, drive safe, let your precious life not be in vain. So, this is for the first time you listen to me, again I am going to repeat the poem and you listen to me. Hi, I am biggest brilliant brain sitting in a formalin jar with disdain on display to promote knowledge gain, watching people stare at me again and again. How insulting to be called a specimen, two years ago I was part of a living human, I got no stroke, tumor or box with on at end date of in this jar to my chagrin. So, dear children, we have some difficult or new words in these first two stanzas. We have six stanzas. I have divided the poem into three SCPs, right. In each SCP, we have two stanzas. So, this is number one SCP, stanza number one and two. On the title, you can say from the formalin jar SCP one, sense group paragraph one, stanza number one and two. And here we have some new words, disdain, disdain means disrespect, not respect, right. So, sitting in a formalin jar with disrespect, disdain, right. Display, view, on display, on view, for view, to promote knowledge, to develop knowledge, to give knowledge, to improve knowledge, right. Then specimen, sample how insulting to be called a specimen, to be a sample. Two years ago, I was part of a living human, I got no struck tumor, no box within box germs, right, at end date of in this jar to my chagrin. Chagrin, dissatisfaction. Once again, I repeat the new words, disdain, disrespect, display, view, promote, develop promote knowledge, develop knowledge, improve knowledge. To display means to view or for view, on display, on view. Specimen, sample, box, germs, chagrin, dissatisfaction, not satisfied, not satisfaction, right. So, these are some of the new words you knew and then we will discuss the first two stanzas. SCP number 1. So, dear children, 
we have already read out the poem all the six stanzas. Now, we are going to discuss these two stanzas. So, the first SCP you can find I am I. So, twice uh, the I is uh, used in the poem. So, who is I here? So, from the formalin jar, someone is speaking. Who is I? I is the brain. You will be happy to know that the poet, although the man is dead, in brain, his brain has been preserved in the jar. The poet thinks that, imagines that the brain is alive, the brain has life. That is why the brain is talking, the poet says the brain is talking, I am Vicky's brilliant brain. Sitting on a formalin jar with disdain, on display to promote knowledge gain, watching people stare at me again and again. So, my dear children, this first stanza begins with the self introduction of the brain. When we introduce ourselves, we speak our names, we give our place, we say about our profession, we say about our work and exactly the brain says his name I am Vicky's brilliant brain right. And what is my work? I am sitting inside this jar. Why I am sitting? Because to display or for display. So, people will look at me, display means uh, we have a view, they will see it, they will look at me, they will watch me. Why they will watch me? They will watch me to improve their knowledge, they will gain their knowledge. And the people there, what I am doing? I am looking at the people, they are watching me again and again, several times they are watching to me, they are watching me. The second sentence you just see, the second stanza, both the stanzas, the poet writes about the self introduction. So, the first stanza is about his name, who is the brain, I am Vicky's brain, where is he? He is inside the formalin jar, why he is there? For display and the students, they will improve their knowledge, the people, they will look at it, they will enjoy, they will get a lot of pleasure. And the second stanza, how insulting to be called a specimen, that is specimen, not specimen, right? Human specimen, we should pronounce like this specimen. We say specimen, actually that is specimen, human, right? So, how insulting, that means to be specimen, he feels that. The poet says that, the brain feels himself insulted, he is not happy. Brain ti ta bhitar nije bhavu chi, che mu dukhare achi, mu apman tohi kya bhitar achi, loko mote mu aad dekhu chanti, mote dekhi apni rakha jai chi, I have been richard here, I have been put here, only for the people to watch me. So, two years ago I was part of a human, so I was a part of a man two years ago, that means I have been put here for last two years. I got no stroke, there is no mental stroke, brain stroke, there is no tumor, there is no germs within, there is no disease, but it ended off in this jar to my chagrin, chagrin means dissatisfaction, to my bad luck, to my dissatisfaction, to my unhappiness. I have been ended here, I have been put here, right. This is all about these two stanzas. So, these two stanzas, the self identification and who is with the brain and who, why he is here, what he is doing and how he is feeling here and what is the purpose of uh, the people to keep this brain inside this jar. Let us discuss some questions, so that you can easily understand the SCP, right. So, SCP 1 stanza 1 and 2 comprehension questions. Number one, who is speaking from the formal jar? The brilliant brain, Vicky's brilliant brain, I am Vicky's brilliant brain. So, the brain is speaking from the formal jar. Who is I in the first two stanzas of the poem? 
the brain. So, the brain says I, the poet considers the brain as a person, personifies, personification is a poetic device. The poets kobi mane sabu vyabhar karanti, sadharana jinisho ko se mane gote loko hisar vyabhar karanti. So, a brain which is dead, which has been collected from a dead man's head and the poet says he is a person, he is a man, he is talking, he is saying about himself. What is the brain doing inside the formalin jar? He is sitting on happily disdain with dissatisfaction. Number 4, what is the brain watching from the jar? The brain is watching people, the people are moving here and there, they are watching and the brain is also looking at the people, those who are looking at him. What does the brain not like? The brain does not like people to look at him regularly again and again. Several times the people are looking at him, the brain does not like, right. How does the brain feel here? He feels very, very unhappy, he is not happy here, he does not get any pleasure, rather he is very sad inside the chair. Next question, why does the brain feel insulted staying in, in the chair? To be a specimen, sample. So, the doctors, the scientists, they have kept this brain inside the jar as a specimen. Got a sample insulted of Where was the brain two years ago? The brain was with a living human, with a man. Did the brain suffer any disease? No. He said no, no stroke, no disease, nothing else, no germs, right. So, next question. Which word in the second stanza means dissatisfaction? Chagrin. I have already told you the poet uses chagrin. He was inside, he, wa he felt insulted, he feels insulted. He was chagrin. This with chagrin means with dissatisfaction. Dash is the poet of from the formalin jar, the poem formalin jar, Dr. Rita S. Moni, a doctor, a scientist, a professor who is working at that. National Institute of Mental Health and Neurosciences. Dash means sample, I have already told you specimen, specimen means sample. So, the brain has been kept in the jar for dash years, for two years. That means, two years ago the young man died and the brain has been collected from him, right. And number 14, the brains are kept in the jars in the museum for dash and dash for display people will look at him, because that is a museum. So, a number of people they will come and they will see and they will get pleasure and also for improvement of knowledge. So, the brain are kept in the jars in the museum for display and for promoting knowledge. The rhyming word of specimen is human. It has been given, I have given this because we usually say specimen, but that is specimen, human like this. So, my dear children, in this uh, uh, two stanzas in the first SCP, this is all about the introduction of the brain. So, from the formalin jar, who is introducing? The brain is introducing himself. The brain says, I am the Vicky's brain and I was with a human being two years ago and now I am unhappily staying here people they have kept me here inside this formally jar for their purposes, for improving the knowledge of the students, for uh, helping uh, people to get pleasure and I do not feel happy. I am insulted, I get insulted being inside the formally jar. So, this is all about the self introduction of the brilliant brain who is inside the formalin jar. We will go to the next SCP, the next two stanzas and we will see what happens. So, dear children, we discussed the first SCP of the poem, very interesting, this is a heart breaking poem and I think uh, the time is going to be over. In the next session, we will discuss the next two SCPs and the four stanzas of the poem. Thank you very much.